Hey guys, good evening and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Now normally I start with good morning. Now we're going to start with good evening. We're in calling at the moment. So why a different start of the vlog? Well, today was a little bit of a different day and I want to do the vlog a little bit different. And if you like this way, leave comments below. If you, did, if you like the other way, also leave comments below. Just let me know what you think. So today, today was a special day. We started off in Aarhus and well, we drove through the city on our bikes to get a Garmin Edge A20. Now, normally when we drive our bikes, it's always a little bit like, okay, we use the iPhone for navigational and we use a uh, Garmin Vivo Fit, uh, sorry, Vivo Active heart rate for all the exercise stuff. But you have to look on the watch constantly if you want to see your speed and well, it just doesn't look right to, to do it that way. So we thought, you know what, let's get a bike computer. And our choice was actually very quickly on the Edge A20 because it has navigational, it has surprise me routes, it has a versional partner, it has training schedules, and it's just a really cool bike computer according to many the best. So that was our first stop, getting the bike computer. After the bike computer, we actually went to a comic book shop, Stripplade. I hope I pronounced this correctly. It's an American owner, Don, really, really cool guy. But we were actually invited by Christian. By the way, if you're ever in Aarhus, check out the store. It's absolutely amazing. It's jam-packed with boxes. It's, it's the kind of store where you go treasure hunting because there's so many long and short boxes. It's just mind-boggling. You never know what you're going to find. And I found some really cool classic comics, which I absolutely love. After that, back to the RV.
I have to tell you one thing. Driving your bike in Aarhus, or anyway, <laughs> anywhere I mean, is absolutely terrifying because with us you have bike lanes. Here you end up often in the middle of the road, you have to go somewhere left, somewhere right, and you just go like, you know what, just get off the bike and t take the crossroad, whatever, I'm, I'm just afraid to bike here. But after all, we survived. After that, we went back to the RV and we left for Colding to meet up with Frank. Okay, on our way to Colding, but why does somebody park their car so close to a dump site for RVs? Man! Frank I knew from the internet and he was asking us, well, if you come to Colding, make sure you visit us. And of course, if somebody asks that and we are in the neighborhood, of course, we're going to visit you. And he took us actually in a great tour through Colding. And you know the nice thing, if a local shows you around, they know all the cool spots. So let's just show you a slideshow of some of the pictures we took.
After our walk with Frank, it was back to the RV and to a really cool marina place. Now, normally with the RV, we also stay on campgrounds, but in all honesty, they're a lot more expensive and we don't use the facilities because we have everything in our RV. We have a shower, we have a restroom, we have power and enough water. So why should we stay on a campground when you can actually go to a marina? So that's where we are tonight. Now, that's actually the whole vlog for today. So if you like what we do, please subscribe, leave comments below, smash that like button. And if you like this way of telling the story, just let me know. If you like the other way, also let me know because we can do both very easily. Hey guys, see you again tomorrow for another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Bye bye.